Hello guys, Mel here with Abstract Fitness. I'm a personal trainer and also a corrective exercise specialist. So I, I help people with joint or maybe muscle pain. So I have some of my clients, and especially because of the pandemic, they have so much pain in their hip, but also in their glutes area. So today I'm gonna to focus just on their glutes because some people just tell me, Mel, my hip is bothering me. I discovered often, it's not necessarily here on the side of the hip, but more here deeply. So I want you to use some equipment. You can use two tennis balls. I have also this one and I really like because it vibrates. So that means you're gonna release the muscles a little bit quicker. In the corner as well, I have the blue foam roller. At home, I have also a harder one, which is a black. But I also brought my black vibrator one. So it's gonna release the muscles a little bit quicker. I'm gonna start with my tennis ball right here. So I'm gonna go on my back. Oh, and I'm gonna put that where I feel it. So you're gonna to need to explore here because I have no idea where you feel your pain and you're gonna find some tension in the glutes complex area right here. See, I have a little bit of tension here and you can move the ball and just figure it out right here. To stabilize the other side of the pelvis, you can put the other ball in your lower back. You can also put a towel, that's why I have it right here. You can also put a towel right there. But I want more pressure on my hip. So I'm just gonna not use this ball, I'm just going to go see I have a tension right here in my hip. So I'm going to stay here for 30 seconds and then you're going to switch. You're going to try to find another area. You're going to stay again for 30 seconds. So you're going to explore the entire hip right here with the tennis ball. Okay. You can even turn a little bit to the side and see, is it there that you have pain or is it really deeper into your glutes complex? Then I want you to give you a stretch at the same time. So this is my left hip. I'm gonna cross my left leg over my right. There we go. You can even push slightly the knee out and you're gonna explore again. Stay 30 seconds each sore spot and move the ball again right here and stay right here. I've been doing it for a long time, Gary, so maybe a few years. And I don't have pain anymore. So that's helping. You can also use a lacrosse ball or maybe that big soft ball. You know when you play softball? This is what I use as well sometimes. This one, you put it on vibration. Same thing, you're gonna put it there. And if you want to cross your leg, go ahead. Now, if it pulls in your lower back, you can put the ball right here. You can go back as well with the tennis ball and just put it there. You can put both balls behind your back. That's where you're gonna release both sides at the same time, but start with the side that you have pain right here. So I feel it right there. Stay there for 30 seconds, and again, you're gonna move the ball, okay? There we go. Another way of doing it, it's using the foam roller. So this is one piece, okay? And it's not that firm, that's why I like it. I'm gonna sit on it right here. So that would be a little bit more advanced like that. So same thing, you're gonna explore from the bottom of your hip right here or your glutes all the way right here. You stay on your side. So I'm putting all my pressure on my left hip and I'm gonna stay right there 30 seconds every spot. Getting too sore for your wrist, go down on your forearm. You're gonna have a bigger base of support. And again, you can cross your leg. This is gonna be more advanced. And you can stay right here every 30 seconds. Okay, I love this one. I don't feel it though, because it's been weeks I've been doing it. Now I'm gonna use the hard foam roller and that one vibrates. So that means the muscles are gonna release quicker. I'm gonna do the same thing, guys. So I'm gonna come right here, find every tension you have 30 seconds, stay there. Eventually, maybe in a week, maybe in a two weeks, you're gonna be able to cross your leg like that and stay right there and you can bring it closer. There we go, I feel it right there, okay? I have a knot right there. I'm gonna stay for 30 seconds, 
move spot, same thing, 30 seconds. You can move all the way up. See, I have another one right there, 30 seconds, okay? I want you to explore. So the first things we need to do, guys, when we have pain in the joint, pain in the muscles, we need to release the tension around it. So that's why I'm using tennis ball or the foam roller. Then we need to stretch. So a good stretch for it, if you like being on the floor, that's the first one, it's easier. That's the way I'm gonna start with my clients. I'm gonna do this one with the figure four, and I'm gonna invite them to push the knee away. For some people, they are flexible enough, they can bring the knee in, so I'm gonna pass my left arm in the hole to grab the back of my right, and I'm gonna push my knee up towards the sky using my elbow. So that will be option two, okay? And then option three, I love this one. This is what I do. I'm gonna extend both legs. My left leg is bugging me on my left glute. I'm gonna cross right here. If you can, bend the right leg. Try to walk your heel as close as you can to your glutes and your hands as well closer to your glutes. Lift the chest and bring your shoulders away from your ears. Now I feel the stretch. So we need to stay here for 30 to a minute every stretch. I'm gonna give you, okay? There's another one that I really like because gravity is gonna push in my lower back, but this is not for everybody because it depends of your knee joint, but depends as well of your hip. It's called the pigeon, pigeon, but I'm not allowed to call the pigeon anymore, the pigeon. I need to see the p, the pigeon. So right here, so I'm bending my left leg and I'm gonna walk the right leg as far as I can. You need to keep the hip square. You can put maybe a block, you can put a cushion, you can put a towel to keep the hip square. And you're gonna stay right here. Shoulders are relaxed, okay? That's the way I feel it the most, or I'm gonna do the one seated, but I'm used to it. You can also stay right here. So when I do this one in my yoga class, guys, I hold it for a little while because we are tight in the piriformis. This is where we have mostly the pain. Then, when you've done the stretch, we need to strengthen the glutes area. So the first exercise I'm gonna do is the bridge. Old exercise, but again, I use it probably with almost all my clients because it's a good one. So you're gonna keep your feet flat, arms up by your side, you're gonna bring your abs into your spine and you're gonna slowly lift without arching your back. You can tell that my hip flexors are too tight. So that means I'm gonna need to release my quads but also my hip flexors before I go with the strengthening exercise. And you can do it with the, um, the foam roller. You can also use the ball, you decide. So what I'm gonna do here I'm going to check the tension in my quads. So hip flexors, I usually go with the ball because it's going to dig in, and I'm going to show you in a minute. Same thing here. You're going to relax your shoulders, and you're going to roll right here and stop where you feel tension right here in your quads. Say I have a little bit here, and I'm going to go all the way until I reach just above my knees. Okay, I'm gonna go there. One leg, it's harder. Okay, so now I'm doing both legs, but it's my right hip or my left, my left, my left that is tighter. So you can do only one. There we go. And you can bend the other leg for support and just do one. See, there we go. I have tension right there. And then after 30 seconds, I'm gonna roll again, find another tension. See, there we go. I have right there but I did my legs today at the gym, so I know my legs are sore. There we go. And that's another thing. When we're tight in the quads, it pulls on the knee, so it brings tension at the knee or pain at the knee joint. So you need to figure out, you can roll right here on the side of your quad. I'm not rolling on the side here, I'm rolling right there. You can roll as well inside. To roll inside, I put it right here and I'm gonna bend my knee, and I'm just gonna roll out. And usually, for me, it's gonna be painful 
closer to my knee. See that here I'm okay. And I did my inner thighs today at the gym. But if I go closer to my knee, I know I have tension and I know it brings pain as well in my knee joint. Okay? So the pain we have at the hip or at the glutes can go all the way down as well to your knee. So I want you to explore with that. And like I said, hip flexors, I usually go with a ball and I'm going to put it right here in front of my hip. We spend so much time seated now. For me, it's driving around, see clients in my car, so I know my hip flexors are tight. But another thing is, have you noticed, and I have a lordosis, so a very deep lower back. When I was young, I did gymnastics for years, and my back is not going to come back. So my hip flexors are always tight. See, I feel it right there. Same thing. You're going to stay there for 30 seconds. If you're really tight, you can stay there for a minute. And then you're just going to explore. Go a little bit further. If you want to use the ball in your quads, obviously that's going to be a little bit more challenging. There we go. See, I have a spot. I'm going to stay there for 30 seconds to a minute. Okay. Then we're going to strengthen the exercise. We're going to do strengthening exercise. There we go. I'm going to go back to the bridge, but you'll see my hips are not going to extend completely. Abs are tight. And I'm going to go back right here. So that's your option one. Without arching your back, feel the work right here in your glutes. And you can stay there as well for a few seconds. Just keep breathing. Press your big toes right here into the floor. That's it. And then when you need a little break, you can slowly come down. And then on week one or week two, you can just go with it up and down up and down okay another one that i really like but it's going to be harder for your shoulders it's right here okay and i'm just going to lift up and down so when you're lifting have you noticed that i'm not looking up at the sky i'm going to keep my chin right here i'm going to inhale exhale contract your glutes bring your abs into your spine and inhale to come down like i said this is not for everybody you need to be strong in your arms, but also in your shoulders. No problem with them or no pain in the shoulders. So you can do maybe 10 or 12, up to 15 reps of that. Another one that I really like, super simple. And usually I do something else with the upper body. You're going to open your feet like that. Press your big toes into the floor. That's where you're going to elevate your arch. And you're going to contract your glutes. Shoulders are down and back. There we go. And usually I'm going to use a band or doing something else at the same time. So you're contracting isometrically your glutes right here. Okay? Stay there for a minute. Okay? Then another very good one. On my all fours, I'm going to just isolate the glutes. I'm going to relax the shoulders, abs into the spine. And I'm going to slowly bring my heel up towards the sky and slowly come down. Inhale. Exhale, if I lift too high, see I'm gonna arch my back. So you really need to go down and up, nice and controlled. You're gonna feel the work as well in the opposite hip, okay, because you, it has to stabilize. So your pelvis is stabilizing right here with the movement. And then more advanced exercise. That's why I have the ball right here. I really like using the ball. So you're gonna put your pelvis right here. You're going to relax your shoulders. You're going to flex your foot. So point your toes towards your shin and turn your toes out to isolate more your glutes. Press the pelvis right here against the ball. And then we're going to lift up and then slowly down. Inhale, exhale up. So I'm not arching my back. So I want you to feel that you are working only your glutes here. Okay? Only your butt. Inhale down. Exhale up. Okay, again, do 10, 12, 15 reps. You can switch your legs. And then we can do both legs. So I'm pressing the pelvis. Okay, and then I'm going to lift up and down. I'm doing a hip extension. Inhale down and just feel your glutes contracting right here. That's it. 
So this is all strengthening exercise while you don't have any pain anymore in the butt area, the hip area. There we go. And slowly release. If the pain comes back, you're going to need to go back on the ball or maybe on your foam roller as well. Keep that in mind. It's always good to go back. I have one more exercise for you guys. We're going to do kind of a lunge. So I'm going to bring my left leg right here. You're going to align your knee joint with your ankle or your foot. Hips are square. I'm right on my tippy toes at the back. Can you see? There we go. Hips are square. Then I'm going to bring my right hand on the outside of my knee, and I'm going to push my knee out right here. But I'm going to resist with my hand. And you're going to hold it there. Abs are tight. Breathe. You're going to feel it as well in your hip because your entire weight or more weight is here. And you're going to breathe. Good. And then we're going to push forward. That's going to be more advanced. When you're going to be for it, nice and slow. And then twist. And come back. Try not moving. So that's why you suck your tummy in. So I'm punching your stomach, guys. That's the way you should engage your abs into your spine. And you're going to come back. Feel the burn in your hip. There we go. That's it. Inhale, exhale. And of course, you can do both legs. So I hope these exercises are going to help you guys anytime you need my help. Let me know. Send me an email. See you soon.